Let's have a, let's have a look. Get on the horse this time. And we'll try that again. Counterfeiting can be considered one of the worst crimes in some areas. It destroys a country's economy and can result in the death of many poorer people. Yeah, it's not like a it's not like a crime of innocence where there's no one really loses out, is it? It it can have a real nasty effect. Theft was punishable by chopping off the arms. Horse stealing was punishable by flogging. So was tax evasion. I'm just happy that we live in gentler times, to be quite honest. Not that I've ever been found guilty of horse stealing, theft, or tax evasion. Uh, but uh, neither do I wish, wish to be. Right, so we're at the inn. Henry, don't bang your head. Let's go and find Fritz and Matthew. And there should be a load of work going on out here. Hang on, hang on. Who's that? Who's that? Is that the innkeeper? It's Fritz. We had a fight with him. How's it going? Good money, eh? What? What money? Oh, uh, look, go and talk to Matthew first. Well... <laughs> All right. All right, this sounds a bit suspect. Henry wouldn't have any limbs left. He wouldn't have anything. He wouldn't have any appendages left. He's, he's run out of limbs and other things long ago. Who's this dude? He doesn't have a quest for me. Villager Matthew. I tell you what, I'm going to sit down because I don't like these cutscenes where you're sort of uh, talking to the back of someone's head. Right then. We three conspirators. Here's your share. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Share of what? What's this all about? My share of what? What the hell are you on about? Well, that thing with Thomas, uh, somehow his ring ended up with us. Um, right. I thought you were staying there because you liked the last and liked the work. Are you out of your tiny mind? If anyone finds out you robbed him, we'll all be fucked. <laughs> Take it easy. It wasn't theft exactly. We all know he stole that ring himself. So if it comes out, he'll be in the shit too. He'll keep his mouth shut. Luckily, he's gone. Where did you find someone willing to buy and not ask too many questions? It wasn't easy. But then Fritz thought of Andrew. Andrew? The innkeeper here. They say all sorts of things about him. The dodgy guys, Andrew. Well, first he didn't seem too keen, but when he saw the ring, he bought it off us. Actually, I'm not surprised. After all, we'll spend all the money on booze here anyway. Yeah, it is a good thing that the waitress is deaf. <laughs> I like that people can be discussing really intricate plot scenes and secret details, and the waitress just, just goes around in the background and doesn't care. Um, okay. What now? What will you do next? Now that you mention it... Uh, out with it then. What have you thought up now? I can't help myself. It's force of habit. We've tried to be good at Sasau. I put a, a hell of a lot of effort into that quest at Sasau to get them the job and they screwed it up. Do you remember? That was the one I loaded in at least once to try and get a better outcome for them. Anyway, this fight, this might be the thing, the way forward with the fighting. So good that you punched a novice in the mouth. My pleasure. Exactly. We broke our backs working in the mill. While you eyed up the miller's daughter. And they drove us out. The only worthwhile thing we did recently was give that wastrel a thrashing, take his ring, and sell it to Andrew. I'm not sure I like where you're going with this. And where's that? No one in the country gives a damn about the law. And if we knock some thief over the head in the woods, or ambush some wagon with supplies for Sigismund's soldiers, I won't lose any sleep over that's it. A, that's a fair point. Those swine deserve even worse. But that's what Sohanish is here for, isn't he? What can we do? Wake up, for Christ's sake! It's war! They skewered your parents, didn't they? They fucking burned down our fucking village, didn't they? They Don't did. Don't give a damn about that! Oh... Yeah, go for it, Henry. Of course I fucking do. <laughs> and now, there's a herd of swine ransacking skeletons. Those fuckers are trampling over the ashes of Jeremiah, and Desmond, and Siegfried, and Tristan. It's not right. I can't let it go, Hal. Even if I have to do it on my own, I'll put the fear of God into those bastards. 
This looks like a, a raid or something. Go on. We'll strike fear into the fuckers. <laughs> Henry's all fired up now. I knew it. Okay. I was wondering, did we all get equal shares? No, you got less, but still plenty. At least he's honest. Well, all right then. Uh, I don't want a bigger share for the ring. So, what's the plan? Well, I thought Andrew, the innkeeper here, could help us, but he's nervous. Best ask Fritz. He sorted out selling the ring, and he knows Andrew better. All right, I'll do that. Uh, yeah, Pan Hal is short for Henry. Okay, well, this is something different. And it's, it's a good I job this guy away. disappeared for that conversation. It was very nice of him to come back when we'd finished. Look very cozy, those two, don't they? Since when? Um, well, since Shakespearean times that I know of, because Shakespeare in Henry V, and I only know this because I studied this at school, in some of the some of the writings refers to King Henry as Hal, good King Hal. So uh, at least from then, maybe even earlier. Right, you, you, I think have got something to tell me. Have you? My humble greetings. How may I serve you? Why in God's name do they have an oil lamp sitting on a table outside during the day? Good question. Maybe it's to uh, the smell of burning fat might smell better than the peasants. Think of it as uh, potpourri on the table. Right. What is this plan? You've got a plan to fleece the local villains. Be nice, wouldn't it? Otherwise, we soon won't have a pot to piss in. And the innkeeper here could lend a helping hand. Exactly. So what's the problem? Uh, he reckons we're not up to it. Y you should try and talk him into it. You were always good at that. Oh, and tell him I sent you, so he doesn't send you back. Hmm. Do you know how I might set about convincing Andrew? Mention money. That's all. Mm, it should work. Aye. My friend, the innkeeper is as greedy as they come. I had to sell him a load of boar and deer and stuff. He is a greedy get. Where is he? Come on then. Where's this quest going to take me? What happened to you? You look like you've been assaulted. I'm getting a little tired of people saying that to me just because I'm covered in shit. Fritz sent me. I'd like to talk about... Ah, you'd like some wine from my cellar? I have it right here, in the back. <laughs> no, I'm going to be so unsubtle, this is funny. No, I wanted to steal... Yes, yes of course it's good. I have it right here, in the back. God, I've got to go with this. Am I talking to the wall? <laughs> I need you to tell us every time... <laughs> Listen, you black. To the back with me for Christ's sake. Yes. Right, mm. yes. Of course. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. Go on. I'll follow on. Maybe whoever ran around Skyrim lighting all the candles in uh, dungeons is loose here in Bohemia. It could be. Hey, yeah, they've got a new part in this game based on their past experience. They were pretty good at lighting candles in all the dungeons. Well, he nearly fell down the stairs. Shall I mug him? And Oh, I didn't know there was a chest down here. Ah, this is good to know. So, Fritz sent you, did he? Aye, this was his idea. Look, lad, I'm fond of Fritz. I knew his old ma, but Matthew, he's insane. Robbing people. Only those that deserve it. And you think his lordship won't mind? Have you any idea the kind of shit you can get into? I don't believe you're up to it. Why don't you believe us? <laughs> Henry's just provided the perfect reason on the doorstep why he shouldn't believe us. So I can go for... I'll go for the coin. There's plenty of coin in it. <clears throat> almost no risk for you. So... 
There'd be a share in it for me. Oh, he's changed his tune now. We'll see if you're up to it. You'll need a disguise. What disguise? Use your head. You can never be sure no one will see you. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to put on some other clothes or dress up as humans. Oh, not what? again. It's obvious, isn't it? Everyone knows they're looting. If someone's robbed by humans, no one will investigate. Hmm, that's true. Hmm. But I'll have to get some <sighs> human clothes. A captain's. And three sets Oh, of God. What? On account of the helmets. No one will recognize you with them on. And where the hell am I supposed to get it? There's gangs of humans around skeletons. I've got a good idea where to find them from. Uh, the passers-by. I'm supposed to attack a human cat. Hmm. A minute ago, you were full of yourself. And now, all of a sudden, you've lost your nerve. But the whole fucking camp. <laughs> Scouts are deserters. Mm. Most likely the ones who are trying to skive off or take easy pickings. And even humans have to sleep. I had stacks of cumin armor and I sold it because I didn't think I needed it anymore. Oh, man. I'm not training the axe. Don't need to know about that. Okay. Okay. Get a hold of three suits of cumin armor. I've only got one out of three, apparently. Is he really going to leave me in his cellar? Ha, ha, ha. What an idiot. Right. Nice and easy. You have nagging suspicion the plot will lead me into getting caught. Yeah, I I do suspect you might be right. Oh, what's he got in here? 150 groschen, I'll have that. And that's it. Right. Um, I'll exit properly. Okay, well that's uh, a load more work for Henry to do at some point. It does sound like a tavern in here as well, doesn't it? Oh, hang on. Hang on, this this guy. Game of dice? Let's play dice. I've got a bit of coin today. What better way to use it than a Yeah, 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 yeah. The full thing, I think. Take all his money. Humans are Turks, are they? Yeah, I never thought of that. Right, we're going to put um, that one... And then I've got these excellent odd dice. I like the odd dice. We'll put those in as well. That's six. Um, let's go for it. Why, oh why did I ever agree to this? Hmm, <laughs> you're going to be wondering why in a minute when Henry cleans up. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> this might look a little bit suspicious here. <laughs> Yeah, 1,300. Uh, we shall um, score and roll again, I think. <laughs> um, this definitely looks highly suspect. Whoops, not that one. That one. 1,000. Uh, yeah, we're done there. We're done. You're lucky. Too damn Very lucky. Very lucky. I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Those loaded dice, they 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 help a bit. Right. Have you heard? Have you Oi, stop eating. Put that hair leg down or whatever it is. God save you, good night. What can I do for you? Um hmm. Andrew says I have to get a disguise. A fucking human's clothes and helmet. What? Hmm. That's suicide. We don't even have weapons. And even if we did, he can't stand up to real humans. Um Hmm. A minute ago, you wanted to punish those bastards, and now you don't even have a stick. Even if I did, I wouldn't go attacking a fucking human <laughs> camp with them. <laughs> Look, I'll go and see if I can sort it out. And meanwhile, oh. you get us some weapons. Good, but be right. careful. It's still putting that as an option. Oh, that's good. That's I want great. more money for that ring. And why is that? Because... We're really good mates. That's a good answer. <laughs> nice try. Good luck then. Oh well. Right. 
Okay, it is it is funny. These two, they are a pair of characters. Um, uh, hmm. So, what time are we on? Getting late-ish. I have to go back to Sasso. That mess up there, that's going to be perfect for getting some of the gear, isn't it? But there's also, there's three camps around there. I think that's, I have to do the quest ones. So we're going to Sassel. I have a few jobs to do. Get there in time. I Oh, a Wayfarer. Oh, is it the Riddler? Is it the Riddler? Please be the Riddler. I like the Riddler. Mm, it's a treasure map guy, I think. I'm poor. Not a single grush into my name. Please, help me. Come on then, come on then, beggar, what have you got? Please, sir, help me. Uh, don't bother me, you peasant. What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Kuttenberg, but as you can see, I'm barefoot. My feet are fade to the bone. Don't you have a strip of clean cloth for me, good sir, so I can swathe my feet? I have some me? bandages. Hmm. I do. I'm not well. Oh, I've got some slippers. Wouldn't you rather have shoes? What do you mean, sir? Just what I said. I'll give you a pair of shoes. Excellent. Have a pair of slippers. They're no use to me. Shoes for a monk. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I seldom meet such a good Samaritan. God shall repay you. Anytime. Take care now. Well, that's interesting. Shall I pick his pockets? He hasn't put them on, look. Oi! Uh, you lying, cheating scum. He's just going to go and sell them, isn't he? Give him a pair of slippers. And he walks off without putting them on. Uh, I've been taken for a mug once again. Poor old trusting Henry. Um, we'll go to... We'll go to that one. See what we find next. Attack on the road? Bandits? Attack on the road. Let's see what we've got. What the fuck are you looking for here? I won't put over the lights to you. Is that the best you can do? Oh, hang on. There's a guy just here, is there? You're dead. We need to have a fight here. <laughs> you just hit my horse. You. Filth. I'm going to Go enjoy then. this. Try it. Just try it. And whack. Why did that not work? Nice. Oh, running for you, are you? Where's he gone? I can't see him. Okay, hit him, Henry. Hit him. There, that's the one. No, 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 no surrender. What was that he was using? A captain's mace. Probably not that good, is it? Cheap wine. Right, do I want any of these things? Nah, I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Right. However, there's any more of his mates hiding in the bushes. Where's my poor old horse gone? I can't believe there's just one of these... Dudes. Mm, maybe there was. Maybe there was. The humans were Turkish nomads that roamed the West and acted as skirmishers and scouts. I have never heard of them before this game came along, so maybe I should look into them a bit more. I do like my history. But I don't know much about the history of this part of the world, so it's all... Uh, all a learning experience. Where's my horse gone? It legged it. Okay, well that wasn't the most exciting bit of combat. Let's get to Sasau eventually. I've got to have a look at... What do I need to have a look at? I need to have a look at the blacksmith's forges. We need to see what's going on. 
We need to meet people at night, don't we? We've got some quests to do. Hmm. Right, well there's a forge right there. I don't see any farm burning and smouldering, so that farm hand obviously hasn't done the deed yet. And I can do a sharpening my sword as well, because it's bust. Good day, Henry. Right. What were you God, what talking about? You? You look like you've been assaulted. Not another one of these. What does he sell, this fella? Just, just blacksmithy stuff, eh? Any crap to sell? I should have some shields somewhere. I don't ever remember selling them. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, right. Zack. Ah, these were these two blacksmiths. What can I do for you? He's the one who has the Queen of Sheba's sword. Do you work any copper here, Master Blacksmith? Why do you ask? Ah. Hmm. I'd want to commission you to make something. Then you best go elsewhere. Okay. I never use copper. He's innocent. Ah. Hmm. Tell me about the others. Can you tell me about the Sassal blacksmiths? Well, there's Mikesh. He's honest enough. And a fair hand at everyday things. And then there's Master Otter. He used to have talent, but now he's too old. And too proud to admit it. I think this is the guy, you know. I don't trust this. So back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Farewell. Okay. I don't believe him. I don't believe him one little bit. So... Just chuck all things out, Lee. Oh, hang on. We need to use this. Get the blood off. They're from the southeastern border of Hungary, parts of Georgia, Russia, and all the way to Mongolia. Cumans were? That's a hell of a big area. Right. There's another forge down there. We'll go and, go and speak to that guy. Because, I mean, if they're busy forging stuff, they're unlikely to just admit that they work with the... Uh, this isn't a blacksmith, is it? This is a brew house. Beer. Hmm, any beer? Okay, maybe I need to go and see one of the blacksmiths in town then. I thought there was another one here, but maybe not. The Miller? God save you, Henry. Baker. What's this? This is a winery? Oh, it's nice to see like um bits of industry going on in the game. Right, there's another Smoking stack over there because this could be another forge. We'll go and check it out. Oh, damn, can I not get out of there? Let's go. A uh, little shortcut. Yeah, here. You. Oi, you. There's a butcher. Is he okay? Oi, you. That's how you greet people in. 15th century Bohemia. <laughs> Can you wash yourself in a vat of beer like you would a trough? That would be awesome. I don't know that it would have quite the same effect on charisma. It might leave a bit of a smell. <laughs> uh, nope. So there's the inn. Uh, yeah, we'll go and check out the blacksmiths. And we'll go and report back to Ulrich. Or Ulrich? Is it Ulrich or Ulrich? This guy's a blacksmith. So basically, we need to come kill all the blacksmiths to be safe. So, from the beginning. Oi. There's... My God, what happened to you? You look like you've been assaulted. Yes, yes, I know. The last three people have said that. What can you tell me about the Sassal blacksmiths? 
<laughs> There's too many of us, I'll tell you that for free. This is only a small town. There's Zack, who has a forge in the craftsman's yard and mostly works on the construction of the church. And then, apart from me, there's Master Armourer Otter of Rabstein. I can't imagine Master Otter is the for is to do with this. Can you tell me something about Master Otter? Well now, there's a master to look up to. He's worked for the Lords of Kunstadt and for the richest townsfolk of Prague. If you don't mind my asking, what brings him here? The same as draws all reasonable people. He's enjoying the peace and quiet. Or rather, he used to enjoy some peace. That dispute with Zack must have put a few more wrinkles on his brow. A dispute, you say? What are Zack and Master Otter arguing about? Zack had his boy Vitus trained as an armour in Kuttenberg, and he wanted to buy out Otter's place for him. Except that Otter's a proud man. How would it have looked? A master armourer giving way to a young whippersnapper who's barely let go of his mother's skirts? And they've been arguing ever since. Well, Zack mostly. He badmouths Otter every chance he gets. He claims that he's only Welcome, fit Henry. for mending pots and that his son will see him off. Hmm. Tell me more about Zack. Don't have much time for him myself. He knows his craft, no question. But he seems to think his son, Vitus, will be a master armourer in Prague one day. My father was a blacksmith, and I expect he thought much the same about me. That's how fathers are, isn't it? Of course, any man should be proud of his boy. But Zack makes pride a sin. That's why he's at loggerheads with Master Otter. Okay, this doesn't really help me all that much, I think. That will be all. Thank you. <clears throat> Do you ever work with copper here? No, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Aha, uh I thought as much. Has bought out all the copper. Right. Good luck, then. Back to Zack. I knew it. I knew that lying scumbag. It was the copper guy. Do you know what I'm going to do? The next trough I find, I'm going to have a wash. What's the time, actually? Uh, ooh, I don't think I've got quite time for a, a bathhouse. There's got to be a trough along here somewhere. Ah, speaking of which... Nope. No, they're not troughs. There will be one at the end. There's got to be a trough over here, though. Right, then. We'll get back and sort this bloody blacksmith out. How much trouble would I get into if I went and killed all the pigs in that field, do you think? Hmm. Right, is there a trough? That looks like a trough. Excellent. Right, let's go and sort him out. We know he's up to no good now. He was up here, wasn't he? In this cute little forge. 